Today we're speaking with Mr. Mike Arcimoni, who's president of Bombardier Commercial Aircraft. And thank you for sitting with me today. And if we could start off by just, maybe you can give our audience an idea of how does your experience in the automobile industry translate into aerospace, please? Um, well, there's many synergies between the uh, automotive industry and aerospace. Uh, we're talking about the same transportation services, transportation products, different size. And we're talking about meeting customer expectations. We're meeting about, you know, we're talking about quality expectations of our customers in terms of products. So the synergies are, uh, you know, putting the right product at the right time in the right market. Um, so my years in automotive have prepared me to come over to Bombardier and bring the experience of all the functions I worked with and also to really bring my global experience having lived outside of Canada for over 12 years uh, to really um, take Bombardier to the next level of being you know, a global company. Um, the metrics are the same, market share, profitability, managing cash flow, working capital, you know, customer enthusiasm, you know, uh, so those are all the same metrics, different product size. And I think that uh, that is, uh, you know, most of all the synergies that do exist. Um, and I feel very comfortable because, you know, it's, it's got, uh, you know, almost the same amount of wheels, some products as uh, cars do. So, you know, I'm home. Okay, um, obviously the big, big news today uh, from the presentations was about C-Series. Um, can you provide us some thoughts around the, the schedule? Is the program on time still? The C-Series program is on time and it will meet its uh, milestones. I'll just refresh uh, uh, everybody's memory on the milestones. We are uh, targeting to fly into the new year, which is at the end of this year. We're targeting the CS100 entry into service for our customer at the end of 2013. And by the end of 2014, we will have an entry in service for the CS300. Okay. How far has the assembly gone on the first air airplane, the FTV-1? How, how's the assembly of the parts and all that coming together? Because you have, you have quite a complicated um, supply chain. Uh, all the components, maybe the first cockpit, maybe the center fuselage, they are being built. They are being shipped to, towards Mirabel, so we can put the first body together by the end of September. And that's FTV-1? Yes. Will that airplane fly? That's the, the flying version, or? That's the flying version. Right. I guess that, that uh, and, and in terms, the, the big issue I think that everybody watching the program wonders about is orders. Mm -hmm. um, how, do, how do you think orders will flow? Do you think orders are, are going to likely to flow more aggressively once people see the first airplane? They see it fly? Well, currently we have 11 customers. You know, we have uh, orders for 317 aircraft and if we look at what our competition has done in the past about 18 months before entry into service we are just about where we want to be uh, and we're continuing to work towards our objective which is about uh, 20 to 30 customers global customers we want to have a global diversification and the fact that we will be flying the plane to the new year and that we are moving towards meeting our targets it just reaffirms to our customers that we are on target Okay, now Siesta is obviously being critical in terms of enabling Bombardier to do parallel tracks on, on the process of building this airplane. What has the Siesta validated so far? Well, Siesta, uh, first of all, is something unique to Bombardier. That we are actually validating our major systems, maybe uh, the hydraulics on what we call the Iron Bird, those get validated. At Zesta. So this is a you know, living piece of equipment. A pilot can go in and actually actuate all the hydraulics. Mm -hmm. We have simulators for the engines. We have simulations for, not simulations, but you can actually actuate the landing gear. All of these processes get done in Siesta. Compared to the past, you know, we would have to fly a plane and take the snacks out as we were flying the airplane. Now we have the opportunity to validate, test, commission, on the Iron Bird before our first flight. And in the presentation this morning, there was a strong um, push on the awareness of how China is becoming the second largest aircraft market. Yes. Um, could you give us some thoughts on how come there hasn't been that much take up for Bombardier product in commercial airplanes? 
Uh, China uh, represents a great opportunity for Bombardier to sell not only the C series but the, the rest of our product portfolio, maybe uh, CRJs and Q400. We have begun penetrating uh, China with the uh, order from um, uh, China Express on CRJs. We're very pleased and we're continuing having discussions with the major airlines and lessers in China, and we just have to be patient that this will bring fruit. We also have just recently opened in February our first office, sales office, in Shanghai with the right personnel, with the right support so we can have a presence and get our products known. We also have uh, brought the Q400, for example, as a uh, world tour continued. We went into China, so we've exposed our products, things that we didn't do in the past, that we're doing now more aggressively uh, to you know, really look at the opportunity this country presents. One last question. The Q400 would have to compete with the local-made product in China. Do you think that that presents any kind of challenge? Uh, I think we have a real product, a product that's been proven in uh, other markets. And uh, the Q400, from the feedback from our customers in China, is a product that they would like to have in their fleet. Thank you very much. Thank you.